What's up guys, I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a brand new visual novel from the Great Sakura series. And I tell you what, I'm super excited for this. I uh, I kind of kind of just dropped in the middle of the night. I'm not I'm not uh, like completely uh, like signed up to get alerts for when these come out. So I just found out about this right now, and obviously I bought the game and immediately started playing it because I mean it's 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 cheap. In fact, it was 20% off, so it was like eight bucks. So really cheap game. And the Sakura series have been amazing. And on top of that, you see this Fox Adventure. Fox Girls, 10 out of 10. You know how amazing Fox Girls are. They're fantastic creatures that um, I'm jealous of because I want to be. But, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. We're just going to jump on into it because I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Look at her. Is she not the cutest shit? I need to pull down the music. What voice do I give you, you adorable little thing? Ugh. Mikoto, keep your wits about you. you. If you don't pay attention, you'll lose the fight. Wait, are they twins? I know. I I'm trying, but... Ah. I jump to one side, squealing as the earth beneath my feet rumbles. I'm able to get away just in time. Vines burst forth from the earth where I was standing less than two seconds prior. If I had been any slower, those vines would have grabbed me, but it was too soon to, but it's too soon to celebrate now. The earth's still shaking, more vines are shooting up from the ground, and I can't avoid them forever. Th this is bad. If I don't get my act together, I could be in real danger. Mikoto, uh, it isn't, uh, it isn't enough to merely vo avoid the attacks. You need to strike back. You don't need to tell me that, Ohana. I'm not an idiot. I already figured as much. I know you're not an idiot. You're very talented. That's why I don't want you to lose. Channel your magical energy. Feel it coursing through you. Give it everything you've got. That's easier said than done, but Ohana's right. I've never been the best at magic, but it's now or never. If I cast a spell in time, these vines will seize me, and they'll all be over. It's my duty to protect my forest and my people, and to do that, I need to learn how to fight against threats like this. I won't let those stupid vines make a mockery of, mockery of me. I hold out my palm, focusing all my energy in the tips of my fingers. My blood hums in my veins. I feel magical power swirling within me. I can do it. I'm sure I can. I just need to believe. Burn! The world itself tears through my throat in a loud, d desperate plea. I just want to make my magic work. I need to defeat those vines. I that's my greatest desire, above all else, but... Damn it! I can't see any columns of fire. At most, I was able to produce a couple of feeble sparks, but they're not anywhere strong enough to, to singe even one of these vines, let alone all of them. My magic simply isn't strong enough. M Mikoto, don't lose fo- Oh, wait, this is Ohana. Mikoto, don't lose focus. If at first you don't succeed, you must try again. Concentrate harder. You are Himeko's daughter, are you not? <laughs> Th that's right. I'm Himeko's daughter. The future of the Yamati clan. Uh... Yamatai clan. Rest on my shoulders. I can't afford to fail now. Burn! I shout the spell again. More far sparks fly from my fingers this time, but it's still not enough. I'm woefully weak. Burn, 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 burn! I try and try again. All while doing the best to avoid blows from the thrashing vines. At this point, I'd be happy if I could just, uh, if I could cull one of those vines, but that's not possible. I can't do it. My magic won't work. A vine flies at me with lightning speed. I'm able to just ba jump back just in time, but jumping is all I can do. I feel about as hopeless as a worm trying to avoid the talons of a bird. I really am pathetic. Burn! Still, nothing happens. The vine flies at me. I can't avoid this one. It catches me in the side. <clears throat> I stagger back, winded, my arm, uh, uh, winded, and wind my arms around my stump. Wind. My arms around my stomach. I'm breathing heavily. My hair rumbled and my ribs hurt. I hope I haven't cracked anything. Mikoto, are you alright? I'm fine. I just need to get my breath back. No, Mikoto, there's no time. The vines. Ah! The vi three vines are flying towards me. 
pulsating like with malicious power. There's no way my pathetic magic can stop them. I need to run. I turn my I turn tail and flee, skirting around a tree nearby just in time. One of the vines slashes out. It hits the side of a tree I'm standing hiding behind, and his trunk shatters from the impact. Loose splinters run down my on my head and catch in my hair. I throw a hand up over my face, shielding myself from the small projectiles. Stupid vines. There's no way to treat a lady. Don't you know I'm Hibiko's daughter? I don't think they're intelligent enough to understand such things. This is just great. I twist I, I twist this way at that, looping around the trees. I dunk under branches, then jump over the roots. I think I can avoid the vines if I push on. I can't look back. I... Crap. I didn't see the tree root, and it's too late. I'm falling. I, I should be falling, at least, but... Oh, well, fuck. Something wraps around my wrist, anchoring me in place. It's hard and thick, and it pulls. <laughs> okay. A vine! <laughs> Yet more vines coil around my thighs and arms, clenching them together so I can't even squirm. I've been captured. I can't do a thing to save myself. How pathetic. This really is the worst. The ri vines rub against my thighs. I feel them snaking around my torso, beneath my shirt. My clothes split down the middle, revealing an ample amount of my soft, springy flesh. This really does suck. Uh, Makoto, my poor pupil. I really thought after all my training, you'd be able to f defeat my vines, but evidently not. I shouldn't have gone so hard on you. I'm sorry, this is my fault. She looked like she was enjoying them. No matter how much I struggled, I was unable to escape the vines. If it wasn't for Ohana, they would have crushed me to death. Fortunately, my tutor took pity on me, and she erased the vines with her magic. It was pretty easy for her to do so, since she was the one who summoned the vines in the first place. Ohana is as good with magic as I am bad at it, which is to say she's incredibly powerful, particularly when it comes to nature-based spells. She also used her magic to heal the scars in, in, in the ground left by the vines, and to fix the gaping hole in the sides of the shredded oak tree. She even managed to fix my clothes with her magic. Ohana really is incredible. Now she's looking at me, her expression concerned, hands clasped together at her front. Aww, look at Ohana, she's cute. So we're, we're the fox girl? Yes, this is right up my alley. I'm so jealous though. Oh, are you alright, Makoto? Yeah, just give me a sec, I'll be fine. But you're in pain. I might have fixed your clothes, but I'm afraid you still have a few pu bruises. I, I hope you haven't twisted your ankle. Oh jeez, Ohana, you worry too much. It's it's my job to worry about you. I am your tutor, you know. My Your mother employs me to look after you. I need to turn you into a competent fox girl, capable of leading your people. And that won't happen if I allow you to get hurt. I ain't hurt. Not that badly, at least. Oh man, so she, she wait, she ain't hurt, so she's got like a southern accent? Okay. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. Ohana doesn't look very convinced. Oh, uh, this is this is like her inner monologue. Ohana doesn't look convinced, and I can't say I blame her. To be honest, I don't feel all that hot. Being ensnared by all those vines freaking hurt. My whole body's aching, and even my poor tail f feels bent out of shape. But I don't want to admit my weakness. Ohana worries enough about me, en enough as it is. Worries about me, en enough about me, enough as it is. proofread being coddled at my age is embarrassing I just need to fix myself up a little maybe I'll go for a dip in the hot springs I turn meaning to set off through the forest but walking is harder than I thought it'd be my legs feel weak and wobbly and I fall my butt hitting the ground with a thud uh, Mikoto before I can reassure her Ohana is by my side her eyes wide with worry Aw, oh, these two are so cute. I'm so jealous of them. I would, I, I, what I would not give to be in either one of their shoes. Mostly the fox girl because, you know, it's just how it goes. Oh, Makoto, you silly thing. I knew you were putting up a front. You really are hurt, aren't you? You sustained a lot of damage. If only you, you'd told me sooner. Why are you so stubborn? I guess it runs in the family. Oh, is she like... Okay. 
My mom, Himiko, is the leader of the Yamatai Fox Girls. She's a very scary person, and I'm a little afraid of her. She might be my mother, but she's kind of a stranger to me. My tutor, Ohana, has been with me from a young age, and she's taught me everything I know. Ohana is far more ma maternal than my actual mother, though I can't really view her as a surrogate parent. I mean, Ohana isn't even a fox girl, she's a nymph. It's surprising Ohana was able to secure the position as my tutor in the first place. Fox girls are incredibly ins ins insular. I know what it means, it's just... You know, that's not a word you hear spoken a lot, and when you don't hear it spoken and you just see it in written language, it just can be kind of hard to pronounce. And we don't interact with other species all that much. I guess Ohana's treated... As an honorary fox girl, because she's helped my mom through a few tight spots th several centuries ago. Whatever, I'm getting off topic. So, is this like a huge age gap? Are th wait, are these two the main characters of the story? Or is like the fox girl going to fall in love with someone else? I don't know, this is going to be interesting. Come here, Makoto. Uh, if you keep trying to walk in your current state, you'll only harm yourself. I'm fine, I got this. I just... Uh no, Makoto, stop being silly. I know you're going through a rebellious period, but that's no reason to turn against me. Remember, I'm your tutor, and I love you more than anybody in the world. Now, let me look after you, you silly thing. Oh, jeez. Fine, I guess, if you're gonna be that insistent. Oh, God, I'm so jealous. Ugh. I'm so jealous, dude. What I wouldn't give for some head pads. Oh. God, yeah, see this? Well. Hold up. See, this is, this right here, this, this gorgeous picture, by the way. Is there, I don't know, I don't know how to actually uh, lower this, lower this thing. Is there like a... Oh, I saved the screenshot. Not... That was full screen, that's not what I wanted to do. Self-voicing disabled. Fuck, now it's full screen. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, gosh, um, what was I saying? Anyway. I let Ohana take me in her arms. Gently, she rested my head upon her lap and runs her hand through my hair. Do you feel bad? How do you feel? Better? A little, I guess. Thanks for always looking out for me, but... See, I am, like, uh, an extremely unattractive version of Mikoto. <laughs> I heave a heavy sigh. I wish I didn't always cause so much trouble. I might be my mother's daughter, but I'm sh I sure as heck didn't inherit any of her skills. Your powers will come in time. You just have to be patient. But I've been patient for years now. How much longer have I got to wait? Only the gods know that, dear Makoto. Well, it would be awfully nice if they gave me some sort of sign. And Ohana laughs. Ohana rarely laughs or smiles around anybody but me. She's the picture of a stern, serious ser servitude. Whenever she interacts with my mom, she only loosens up when the two of us are alone. Uh, I can't tell you how jealous I am. Just, just this is this is all I want in life. It's just be a cute girl on the lap of another cute girl and just get head pats and be super I'm, I mean I'm a clingy person but only you can be impetuous enough to ask the gods for the favor you should learn to be thankful for what you have but what do I have my mom is the head of our tribe when she steps down I'll have to leave my people in her place but there's no way I'd be able to do that now. I'm already 25 years old, and I only have one measly tail. I'm a failure. Oh no, Mikoto. You must never think like that. You're not a failure. See, she's only one year older than me. 
like half a year older than me. Well, she could be anywhere from 25. So like a year older than me. Makoto and I are like the same person, but she's a really attractive fox girl, and I am an ugly as shit, not, uh, you know, human trans girl with a voice that I can't fix. <clears throat> but I am. You know I am, even if you're too nice to say it. You know, Ayaka got her second tail last week. Now I'm the oldest Yamatai fox girl without a second tail. All fox girls are born with one tail. As we grow older, our magic matures. We gain more tails. Then at the peak of our magical abilities, we gain our ninth and last tail. My mom is the only nine-tailed fox in our whole clan. She commands immense magical power and everybody respects her. Since I'm my mom's daughter, everyone expected a lot from me when I was born. They thought I'd be some kind of prodigy who'd lead our clan into a bright and shining future, but instead I'm a total failure. It's no wonder my mom wants nothing to do with me. I was, I was supposed to carry on her legacy, but though I tried super hard during today's training session, I still got pummeled. I couldn't ex even escape from your vines. I tried to use a fire spell, but it didn't work. Nothing works. I can't even control the plants. I can't control the air. When it comes to fire spells, all I can muster is a few measly sparks. My magical power is pr practically nil. And my physical stamina leaves a lot to be desired. A whole load of expectations are riding on my shoulders, but the way I am now, I'm just going to let everybody down. In fact, I already let everybody down. Nobody has faith in me, not even myself, except Ohana. And that's because she's too nice for her own good. We all know those type of people. Shh, Makoto, please. Shh. Ohana gently rubs her fingers through my hair. Her touch is comforting, much like her floral aroma. And it soothes me a little. I know you're under a lot of pressure. And I know you're, you've been feeling somewhat inadequate as of late. But you still have time. But I'm already 25. You're only 25. But if I was human, I'd be a third of the way through my life cycle already. <clears throat> oh, the pain. The pain. <laughs> hey, Makoto. Ow. But you're not a human. Ohana's lips purse together as they always do whenever the topic of humans come up. Oh, oh. Ohana might not be a fox girl, but she has a lot of prejudices of her own. Her opinion of humans in particular is pretty abysmal. You're a fox girl, and it's not uncommon for your kind to live a hundred year for hundreds of years. Your own mother has lived for almost four centuries. You still have time to hone your magical abilities. You have more than enough time. You'll get your second tail in due course, and I, as your tutor, will support you every step of the way. You, um... I glance up at Ohana, my face pale pink. Y you mean that, Ohana? Yes, I do. Even though I'm so useless? I don't think you're useless. If I did, I would have given up your training a long, long time ago. You have, pot you have potential within you, Makoto. I can sense it. Energy flows within you, untapped. We just need to learn how to unlock it. Then, you'll become one of the strongest fox girls there is. <laughs> I sigh heavily. Like, I haven't heard that before. It's it's true. I'm a nymph. As I, my senses are keen. I can detect things in you that even you cannot. I'm glad you have that mu so much faith in, my, in all my so-called untapped potential. I make quotation marks with my fingers. But you'd think, if I really am that special, my powers would have manifested by now. These things can take time. Magic is a delicate thing. It cannot be rushed. Yeah, yeah. When Ohana talks about unlocking my powers, she makes it sound so easy. But if my powers really are hidden behind some kind of door, it must be the stubbornest locked door in existence. I've been trying to jimmy this door open for years without any success. I wish the gods would throw me a bone. Though, given my circumstances, a lockpick might be more useful. Oh well, talking about this is pointless. 
I've had this conversation dozens of times before and it never helps. I fall silent, staring up at the sky. It's very bright and blue, with a few clouds floating here and there. Ohana's lap is warm and soft. I sigh as I nuzzle my head with, against her thighs. Oh, Ohana might be stronger than my mother, but I always feel sick. Uh, but I always feel safe when I'm in her arms. Well, if she's stronger than my mother, then you'd think yeah, you'd feel even more safe. Throughout my lackluster life, she's only had my best interest at heart. She really is a kind person. I just wish I wasn't so gosh darn useless. I wish. Hey, Ohana. What is it, Makoto? Do you feel able to resume your training? Sure, in a second. But I was thinking about some. What about? Well, I'm just, um... I shift on Ohana's lap, suddenly awkward. She always gets angry when I bring this topic up. It's only, it's the only time the kind, supportive Ohana ever gets angry with me. But I can't keep quiet any longer. Not when, not when this has been weighing on my mind all day, even more heavily than Ayaka's seventh, second tale. The other day, I heard a few fox girls talking. They said the humans were holding a festival in Warren Village this evening, and but the moment I, I, my, I mention Warren Village, Ohana's face darkens. No, Makoto. <clears throat> I scramble off Ohana's lap and, gla and glare at her, my lips pursed into a pout. This is not fair. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I don't need to. I know well enough what you're after, and my answer stands. No. But... Makoto, what about no? Do you not understand? I understand it perfectly fine, but it ain't fair. The other Fox girls said they would go to the festival. Me, my, uh, Micah, and Shizuka, and Shiori. They said they were going to celebrate with Ayaka since she's finally got her second tail. They even sewed their own kimono, sewed their own kimonos. That's very nice, Makoto, but you shan't be going with them. But why not? You know why, Makoto. It feels like we have this discussion every other week. Oh shit, is my my audio is like way too quiet. But Ayaka going to the uh, Ayaka's going to the festival and so am Maika and she's a gun Shiori. Everybody's going except me. Attended more in village village's annual harvest festival is right of passage among us fox girls we go there once we develop our second tale so we can celebrate i heard stories about warren's harvest festival for years apparently it's fun lively night where you can eat delicious foods play games and watch flowers exploding in the sky i've even heard these explosions from my home and i've seen colorful streaks of light illuminate the sky come the fe festive months but i've never been there myself Micah, Shizuka, and Shiori would never invite me on their daring escapades. I only have one tail. I'm a total failure of a fox girl, and it looks like I'll never be able to go to the festival. It's upsetting. It's frustrating. I can't stand it, but Ohana uh, remains impervious to my cries. You shouldn't be comparing yourself to the likes of Micah or Shizuka in the first place. They're silly girls, and they shouldn't be going to the festival either. But it's, it is different for them. The circumstances are different. I don't see how. Then you're being obtuse on purpose. I know you're not stupid, Makoto. I don't... I doubt you need me to spell your situation out for you, but I will, just in case. Now listen closely. You are the daughter of the village chief. My... Micah and Shizuka and Shiori are not. Unlike those girls, you have a duty to your people. In the future, you shall be their leader. You can't afford to set a bad example. Heh, <laughs> some future leader I am with only one measly tail. Makoto, please. I know you want to go to the festival, and I, but I can't fathom why. There's nothing they have in Warren Village that we don't have here. Aren't you satisfied with your lot in life? Why do you want to in ingrate yourself with the humans so much? It's not that I want to in ingrate ingratiate myself with them. I'm just curious. The other Fox girls have been to Warren Village before, but I never have. I want to see what it's like. I want to eat lots of yummy food, play fun games, and talk to lots of people. I want to know what the fuss is all about. 
and I want to have some fun. But you, we do have fun together, Makoto. I do my best to keep your spirits up. Why do you need anyone else when you have me? I'm not good enough for you. You are, Ohana. That isn't it. I appreciate your company, but there's a whole world outside this forest, and I want to see what it's like. If I'm going to be the leader of my people, I need to be a, little more, a bit more knowledgeable about the outside world. If humans really are threats, I'd like to know firsthand. There's so much I don't know, and there's so much I want to know. In fact, that could be the reason why I can't use my magic properly. If I go out in the world and learn more about people beyond our tribe, I'll be sure to grow as a person. It could even help my magic grow too. This festival could be just what I need. I'm pretty pumped about my proposition, but Ohana doesn't look convinced. If anything, her frown deepens. I think you're working yourself up over nothing. Makoto, there's no guarantee that going to that awful festival will help you. There's nothing so special about human celebrations anyway. They're awfully primitive. Maybe to you, but that's enough. I can't allow you to leave the protection of this forest. If a human catches you, you will be in grave danger. Though there are spells we can use to master our true identities, I doubt you're capable of casting any of them properly. <laughs> Ohana's words sting, but she does have a point. Compared to the likes of Maika and Shizuka, I'm woefully weak. Now remember, Mikoto, the humans belong to this a brutish race. They do not trust any beings more powerful than themselves, and they seek to bring us down. If you went to a festival and they learned you are a fox girl, they would show you no mercy. Now, Ohana smiles. Ohana smiles sweetly. If you've regained enough of your strength, why should we resume your training? Yeah, yeah. That's what I say, but to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Not anymore. I really, really want to go to the festival, but it looks like I missed my chance yet again. Will I ever be able to leave this forest? It's certainly safe here, but after 25 years of stagnation, safety does get te tedious. I might not have a second tail yet, but I'm not a child. I'm an adult and I want to explore the world beyond this forest. It's, uh, is that really too much to ask? This sucks. I sit in my bedroom window and looking out at the sky. It's dark and the stars shimmer above my head. I can see the moon, too, hanging round to circle over the tops of the trees. Right about now, Ayaka, Maika, and Shizuka, and the rest will be hanging out at the Harvest Festival. They'll eat delicious food, play fun games, and watch the big fire flowers as they burst in the sky. I bet they'll have lots of fun. And all the while, I'll be stuck here with nothing to do and nowhere to go. It's not fair. I wish I'd been invited, too. I collapse against the window sill, my tail brushing the tiny, tatami floor in the side arc. If I was a little stronger, maybe Ohana would let me go to the festival. I am a fox girl, after all. I shouldn't be afraid of humans. Humans are weak, punny creatures compared to us. They can't even use magic. But then again, neither can I. Ohana's probably right, though. I hate to admit it. If I went to Warren Village and my true identity was discovered, I'd be a sitting duck and the humans would swarm me before I knew what to do and I'd get thrown in prison. Or would I? That's what Ohana says, but how does she know that? She spent most of her life in the forest. I don't think she's ever been to a human settlement before, though she's been alive for hundreds of years. There's no guarantee that humans in Warren Mountain Village are all bad people. In fact, they could be kind of friendly. Maybe they won't even hate me, even if they do discover who I am. What if we can co coexist? Then we fox girls should, wouldn't have to hide from humans. We could form communities together, and we'd be stronger for it. That's it. I get to my feet, my eyes flashing with resolve. Only five minutes ago, I found down in the dumps, but now I have a renewed, uh, renewed with newfound energy. If I'm going to lead my people, I want to lead them into the future, and I want our future to be peace, uh, full of peace and harmony. I want fox girls and humans to get along, but if my plan has any chance of working... I've got to get to know humans better. That's why I need to go to their festival, no matter what Ohana says. This is for the good of my people. That's what I tell myself, at least. But I can't deny it. I'd love to try cotton candy. It sounds delicious. I don't know why, but I can feel it in my heart. Humans aren't as wicked as Ohana says. She must be mistaken. And I'll show that to her. I'll show them all. But first, 
I paused by the mirror hanging on the walls. I closed my eyes, focusing on the meager magical energy I have, and let the spell wash over my body. A spell like this is relatively simple, but for me, it's a struggle. Magic doesn't come easily for me, if it comes at all. I have to fight every step of the way to channel my magic, but when I do... Alright. Even I can hear the results. Oh, she did it! I examined my reflection in the mirror, smiling. I look much the same as I did before, but the couple of crucial differences. My tail is gone and so are my ears. Now I look indistinguishable from any regular human. Keeping this spell up will be hard work. I can feel my body straining already, but I don't have any other choice. It's not like I don't trust humans. I'll have to if I want to form an alliance with them. But it's better safe than sorry. I don't want to cause commotion at the festival. That'd be pretty rude. I'll tell everyone I'm a human traveler from, from far afield. That should be good enough. Then I'll be able to observe humans in their natural hab natural habitats, and then and they won't be able to be any, but they won't be any the wiser. I'll have a lot of fun, and I'll make a lot of friends, and they'll come back safe and sound. I'll show Oana how wrong she was. The world isn't that scary after all. Yeah, she's so dead. <laughs> if this wasn't a soccer game, I'd be like, yep. The humans are going to chop her head off. All right. Humanity sucks. <laughs> it's just how it goes, mate. Look at look at 2019. Look at how how not far we've come as a society. Like as people, we have not changed all that much from where we were, you know, during the Roman Empire. In fact, we've grown worse in a sense. We've kind of grown worse in a sense, at least in some aspects. Some aspects obviously we've gotten a lot better slavery, but some aspects we haven't got, uh, we've gotten a lot worse, you know, being a community, caring about our own people, you know, shit like that. I can't believe I'm really doing this. This is so daring. If Ohana finds out about this, then... No, wait. Bad Makoto. I can't think about Ohana right now. You're doing this for yourself, remember? You don't need to worry about Ohana right now. I like her a lot, but I can't let her control my life. She isn't even my real mother. But she's so cute, though. And I really gotta stop talking to myself. That's a pretty bad habit. I talk to myself pretty frequently, actually. It's not like I have any other friends in my clan to talk to. Save Ohana. She doesn't really count. And she's so like me. I'm sorry, Makoto. Damn, she's like a super incredibly attractive version of myself. I made up my mind. I'm going to that festival, and I just need to walk a little further. Trap, tra 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 I traipse through the forest, loose leaves uh, and twigs crushing beneath my feet. It's a nice warm night, and the wind that ruffles my hair and tail is so smoothly. Pardon? Your tail? Did you fuck up? Oh boy. <laughs> the sky is very clear. When I lift my head, I can see in abundance shivering like fish scales. It'd be pleasant for, uh, to stop for a while and stare at the sky, searching for constellations, but I can't afford to slow down now. Not when I've come so far. But but she said her, she said wind through her tail. Is she, did she fail? You can do this, Makoto. I believe in you. I quickened my pace, my nose twitching with anticipation. If I wasn't using magic to hide my tail, I bet it'd be twitching. Oh, it's just to hide it. So she could still feel, it's like her tail's there, but she just made her tail invisible. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. All my senses are feeling incredibly alert. Oh boy. She dead? The trees around me are starting to thin out. I can see lights ahead, gold and orange, flickering on the horizon. I'm not at West Warren Village just yet, but I can smell fried food drifting in the air. It must be close. I hurry ahead, going faster now than ever before. I almost stumble over a tree root, like I did during my training session with Ohana earlier, but this time I'm able to regain my balance. I can't afford to eat the dirt now. I need to keep going faster, faster. The lights on the horizon are getting larger. I can see stalls, too, and people wearing cotton robes cluttered in about these points of light like insects. It's Warren Village, the festival. I finally made it. Alright, well, that's a good place to stop, guys, so thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below for me, because you already know your support's greatly appreciated, as well as subscribing to the channel for more of 
the Fox Adventures. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pumped. Uh, but make sure you guys are subbed to the channel as well as leaving a comment in the comment section. There's always amazing help for me. And uh, we'll see you all in the next episode.